Hello, welcome to Remus Print. Uh, this is something new we're doing to try and give you a little bit of insight as to how we produce your work because once you've sent us your files and signed off your proof you don't necessarily know what machines we use and as we can't invite you in at the moment and we thought we'd bring some of the machinery to you and today we're going to show you the guillotine probably the most dangerous machine here at the moment to be really honest because of the, the, the blade that's in it we've got a meter wide blade that's extremely sharp and I just want to show you how it works and what we do uh, in terms of production on this machine So this is the larger of our two guillotines, uh, one that we installed just last week. Um, again, same manufacturer from the uh, Komori Corporation, the same as our press. Um, and the reason we're showing you this one is the biggest, most powerful machine we've got. And the biggest, most powerful machine we've actually ever had um, is over a meter wide. It can cut at any one time. And it can cut 175 millimeters of, of board or paper or whatever at any one time. Um, because it's so big, it needs an awful lot of power. Um, to clamp the work as we trim it uh, to make sure it's accurate and everything's cut exactly the same and I'll give you an example of how powerful it is when we fire it up it sounds a little bit like the London Underground or perhaps just on a Boeing 747 about to take off um, and when we first started it up last week there it is uh, we were a little bit impressed uh, all got a little bit excited because it sounded so powerful so now it's up to speed we've got three main elements to a guillotine you've got the back gauge which adjusts uh, how accurate we're going to cut. So we're going to say we're going to cut this at 320 millimetres. 320. 315. 200. Bang. So that gets it in the right position. And we can adjust that and program it to 0.1 of a millimetre. And that's what this little dial here does. So it's very, very accurate. Once you've got the back gauge where you want uh, to cut, you've got a little line here that highlights where the blade's going to cut so we can line up with the printed work. You then have a clamp that comes down, holds the work steady, um, and then the knife cuts. So a clamp really, although it seems pretty unimpressive, is the bit that holds your work in exactly the right place and makes sure that we're cutting your work accurately. And the beauty of this machine and why we selected it is it had so much clamping pressure. Believe it or not, this clamp can come down and hold down with four and a half tonnes of pressure. So if I just give you a quick example of us cutting something so you can see how it works, we'll cut this at 310. So we'll push that back there. Okay, we'll make some, uh, we'll make some paper tagliatelle for you. So you bring the clamp down, you've got two separate buttons here that you press to strike the knife. And that's it. So there, we've got a paper tagliatelle, that's 10 millimeters of paper, nice and easy. Now we can cut far more accurately than that. So we can knock this back and say, we'll cut this at 309.5. So if I just adjust that there, that's gonna cut half a millimeter off of this piece of paper. You can barely see it on the knife when you look here. It's just the tiniest of little lips. So if we then cut this one, so now we've got effectively paper spaghetti. So that's half a millimeter wide piece of paper and it'll do that all day long. And the reason it can do that is the sharp blade in it. And these blades really do require a lot of respect. Um, when we get to the point where we change it generally once a week because it's not cutting as accurately as we want it to, we would take this knife out into a knife carrier, move it onto the table and swap them over and send it off to be regrained. But that knife, even when it's too blunt to cut our work or to the standard that we expect, if you were to drop that on your foot, it would just, it would just take your foot to clean off. I mean, it is extremely dangerous. There's only two people in the business that are trained to change the blade. One of them is me. Um, because we don't want that risk being uh, given to anybody else um, because it is a very dangerous process. Um, once it's in the machine, of course, it's extremely safe because we've got these light bars either side. If I try to cut my hand off, um, you can't because the minute you break the beam, it stops. So, well, I'll give you an example. So you can't get in there. Um, and it makes it a very safe machine all round and it obviously meets all the approvals and we have it safety checked every year. So. That's just a quick video of how we produce it, what we do, nearly everything we do, everything, whether it's a printed box or whether it's a magazine, we'll go through a guillotine at some point to have a process um, prepared, ready for the next, next uh, production line. So there it is. We can't uh, bring you in to see it at the moment, so we thought we'd bring the machine to you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.